another video. Um, I will show you how you can fix a little detail on a Cadence site. <coughs> This is the same site that I've worked with in the last two videos. Um, and if I click, this is a standard archive that you can get with the, the customizer. I've made a custom archive for my cat one and you see it's like fading in. So this is how I show how it, this is done uh, with the fading effect. So it makes the image go from grayscale to color. So watch my previous videos if you're interested. Um, but if I click on one vid, uh, post, this is the standard layout of a cadence post again. And then if I scroll down, you have the similar posts. You can activate this in the customizer and you see that the length, depending on the height of this um, t title, is not equally distributed. Yeah? So I will show you how you can fix this with a little bit of uh, code. Let op let's uh, let us open up the customizer. If we go to the posts layout, these are the things that change the layout of this post that's here. And you will see, if I go down, show related posts. This is the one at the bottom. If I disable, you see this is just now giving me the previous and the next navigation, but not like the preview of similar posts. Yeah, you see you can set the amount of columns here but you see still that with different uh, columns again sometimes you see a difference in height. With four columns we have the problem. You see with three columns we have the problem as well depending on which article he loads because now you see it all with two, two lines in the title so now it looks like it's fixed but it's just because they are all with the same amount of digits so if I go back to two and back to three. Now you see he picks different related posts and now you see it's uh, again with the same problem. We can put the loop out if we don't want to endlessly loop it, but you see there are no other options. If I go to design as well, default post, related post section. So this is the styling for this. We can set the color of the title, this one. And we can set the background to a bit of darker color like this, for example. But this is all we've got, so we can't fix the height. So we have to go to custom CSS or additional CSS and we have to pick some something from our inspect page. So we have to go to inspect and then we have to check the right thing. So we have to fix this one, this article here, we have to uh, add something here and then it will be fixed uh, because you see the oh, let me close this up we have a carousel this is the grid with the carousel inside of it and then we have all different carousel items and th these are all invisible so they are lo only loaded when we click on the arrows and now you see we have the the item from the three items here will be the items that are inside now. And you see, if I hover over, you see the height is actually good like it is now. But you see that inside, this article is not spanning the full height of this, you see. So, what we can do is go to this article and we just gonna type in here, just to show you height 100%. And you will immediately see this is fixed. We're working for this item, but it's only, you see, it's adding a style tag here, a style CSS tag, only for this article. So that's why it's only working for this one here. But this, this is why we have to just check if we pick, for example, this uh, overlaying class, carousel item. We go to the customizer and we add this class. And then we add this, so it has to be a direct child, this means, and then we just pick article. Now we should have selected it, and now we're going to set the height to a hundred percent. And you immediately see, I don't know if you saw it, so it immediately changes. This is two lines and this is only one line, and you see the height is exactly the same. So a quick and easy fix, we just have to click on publish. 
and then we can go back to the layout and see what happens if I change this to four columns now you see still works so it keeps the styling as it should two columns on tablets two lines one line works fine and then in mobile it's not really relevant because you should have uh, two well it works you see two columns but it's not really too nice with the big title so that should be uh, differently styled inside of the customizer see? so if you pick two then you see it changes to one on uh, on mobile but just with this quick little easy tip for you guys if you've noticed this with your posts we can fix this even if there is no image you see it's still going to span across the whole height of the of the carousel item and that makes it a little bit more a uniform look and um, we could, could even add some css to space this out a little bit more because i don't like it being so close but just so something something that i prefer and um, then we should have a look how this is called here it's an unordered list splite pagination let me so maybe check uh, in your own inspector but probably it will be the same classes if you're using cadence team um, but just to be sure so if we pick this one then we're going to the customizer and go to additional css and paste it in and then we're going to add a margin top of uh, 50 pixels for example and this is not doing too much uh, it's a position absolute yes that's why it's not working so we have to change this one to min minus yeah so we can change this one so we have to go to we have to copy this splite and splite pagination so it's positioning absolute so this means we have to change the values of the absolute positioning to be able to change this so we're going to do bottom and then minus 50 pixels and then you see the spacing is already increasing so and you can change this if you go uh, minus 100 it will but be careful because now it's going outside of the the normal container so maybe play around with the values and see what works so this is working fine in tablet let's go to this is also looking fine and this is also looking fine so 50 pixels i like it a little bit more so this is something we could also add with a little bit of code voila hope this helps and see you in the next one bye bye